hello students good morning to everyone today we are here to start chapter 14 of ssc and the name of the chapter is our industries industries if we talk about the industries what is meaning of industries industries are the places where raw materials are converted into finished goods what happens in the industries raw materials raw materials are converted into finished goods raw materials are Then furnitures, the 
they are made from the small scale industries clear to everyone now let's discuss about this industry large scale industries large scale industries employ thousands of highly skilled workers what is meaning of highly skilled workers the workers working in the large scale industries are trained they are given the trainings they are very perfect at their work and what they use they use power driven heavy machinery raw materials are obtained from outside and sometimes they are imported also if the raw material is not available in our country they are imported finished products are distributed all over the country and that products are exported also exported means they are sent to the outside market also such industries include textile mills iron and steel heavy machinery oil refineries chemical plants automobiles aircraft railway engines cements etc these are the three categories based on the size now we will discuss about industries based on raw materials industries based on raw materials industries based on the raw materials industries based on raw materials based on raw materials industries can be divided into two types first one Let's discuss. 
discussed about the textile industries. A textile is a flexible material and is often referred to as thread or yarn. It is produced by spinning of raw cotton, wool or other materials. Either from the raw cotton or from wool or from other synthetic materials. This is spin into form of thread or yarn. Fabric is made of yarn through weaving or knitting. This wool is knitted, uh, knitted and this uh, yeah, this uh, wool is knit and what happens about the raw cotton? That is whip. Cloth refers to finished piece of fabric. What is cloth? Cloth means finished piece of fabric. The major cotton textile mills are located in Maharashtra, Gujarat, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh. Silk textile industries are mostly located in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Jharkhand, Jammu and Kashmir and West Bengal. These are the places where the silk textile industries are located. Then, woolen textile industries are mostly located in Rajasthan, Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Maharashtra and Haryana. Okay, this is about the textile industries. Now, we will discuss about the Sugar industries about what we will discuss about the sugar industries about the sugar industries. Sugar cane is crushed to get juice which is used to produce sugar. The main sugar industries are located in Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu and Punjab. These are the places where the sugar industries are located. Now, iron and steel industries. Iron and steel industries. This iron and steel industries. Here what happens? To make iron and steel, iron ore is smelted and is made free from the impurities and carbon is added to it. Major iron in this, uh, this is still industries are located in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Odisha, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. These are the places where this iron and steel industries are located. Now automobile industries. Automobile industries. Automobile industries. We will see that where these automobile industries are located. An automobile industry manufacture water vehicles. Some major automobile industries are in Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Jamshedpur, Pune and Gurgaon. These are the places where these automobile industries are located. Now, Locomotive industries. Now we will discuss about this locomotive industries. Let's see where they are located. Locomotive industries. Locomotive industries. Locomotive industries manufacture engines for pulling trains. The major locomotive industries are located in. Chitranjan. Where is Chitranjan is present? Chitranjan is in West Bengal. Then Varanasi. Varanasi is in UP. Then Perambar. Perambar is in Tamil Nadu. These are the places where these locomotive industries are located. Now, aircraft manufacturing industries. Now we will discuss about this. Aircraft manufacturing Limited 
HN is a well-known aircraft manufacturing industry. Its main centers are at Bangalore, Kanpur, Nashik, Korapur, and Hyderabad. Some other important industries in India are Jute, Pharmaceutical, Paper, Cement, Fertilizers, then Glass, Household Appliances, Food and other industries. And one more industry is there which is very famous that is information and technology industry. Information and technology industry and that industries are also known as IT industries. What they are known as? They are famous as IT industry, information and technology industry. IT industry. And IT industry develops software applications and computer hardware. The major IT industry centers are Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Pune, Delhi and CR, Jaipur and Kolkata. Jaipur and Kolkata. These are the main centers of this IT industry. India is fast becoming an industrialized country. Indian industries are making all efforts to keep pace with the latest science and technology. And India has emerged as one of the leaders in the IT industry and space research. We know that this Bangalore is called the Silicon Valley of India. Why this Bangalore is called the Silicon Valley of India? Because large number of IT companies have offices in the Bangalore. So this is called the Silicon Valley of this India. Further, industry is based on the raw materials from aquatic animals are called the marine best industries. And what happens in the marine best industry? Food, this uh, fish processing is done there. What is done there? Fish processing. And industry is based on the raw materials from forests are called the forest best industries. Like paper, furniture, sports goods, they are the forest based industries. This is all about the chapter. In the next class, we will discuss about the exercise of this chapter. And in PDF, I will give the question answer. In PDF, I will give the exercise too, but we will discuss also in the next class. For today, this much is enough. My dear students, revise this chapter and get ready for the next class for doing the exercise work. Thank you, class.